Hello and welcome to this product walkthrough of Sift Analytics. I'm Vangelis Kirazis, one of the co-founders here at the business. Firstly, you can connect a variety of different entities to Sift by adding entity at the top right hand side of the screen. You can connect entities from various cloud accounting providers as well as e-commerce and payment platforms. Once those entities are on SIF, you can consolidate them into reporting groups or segment them into their constituent divisions. You can also import data into SIF from Excel, whether it's trial balance data or transaction list imports. Once these entities are on SIF, specifically for our direct integrations, you can refresh the data manually at the bottom left hand side of the screen, but the data will also refresh every 24 hours. Chat to our team if you'd like to increase the frequency of those refreshes. Entities connected to SIFT will then appear in the left drop-down selector. You can navigate between the entities and select the relevant entity you would like to work with. The most important thing for entity setup is under Layouts, Chart of Accounts. Now these layouts and chart of accounts help you group and move accounts within your PL and balance sheets, rename accounts, but also allocate various charts of account classifications to your accounts that are used to calculate various graphs, KPIs, and reports across SIFT Analytics. Under the Entity Selector on the left-hand side, you'll see the Favorites tab, where you can favorite various graphs and reports within SIFT, as well as five different tool sets available for that entity. Firstly, Visualize. Visualize, as it is in the name, is a suite of visualizations starting with a dashboard that helps you get a good sense of trend and seasonality in your data set, whether it's PL data for income and expenses, customer, product, or supply information drilling into the actual underlying operating metrics of your specific entity. The best part about SIFT is drill down level and drill down level gives you transaction level detail for all the underlying transactions that make up a graph or a number within SIFT's visualizations or reports. At the top of the screen, you'll see the global date range selector, and this will help you switch different time periods that you would like to report on for your entity. The default is monthly, but you can switch all the way down from daily to yearly and custom date ranges if you'd like to go further or more specific than that. Below Visualize, we get the financial section, and this features your core accounting statements like your profit and loss, balance sheet, and cash flow statements. Within these tools, you can customize the columns and you can segment the data or compare that data to budget or forecast. You also have a financial statement drafting tool that will help you draft annual, quarterly, or half yearly financial statements for your entity. The Analyze feature specifically focuses on tabular reports for your customer and product information, really granular and specific metrics across customers and products, a valuation tool, and an industry benchmarking tool that will help you compare your entity to industry benchmarked entities that exist on SIFT within your industry and within your country. The forecasting tool has three different features. Firstly, a cash manager. And a cash manager is for short-term 30, 60, 90 day bank balance projections. Can I cover bills as they become due and what money is landing in my bank accounts? The four-way forecast is an integration between PL, balance sheet, cash flow statements, and KPIs that goes from one year to 10 years out. And last but not least, the budgeting tool will help you prepare budgets for PL and balance sheets again from one year to 10 years out. Last but not least is the review tool. Now the review tool will pick up data anomalies and potential errors within your transaction level data for your entity. This will flag these anomalies for you and features a cleanup tool to help you correct any potential data errors so that your reporting and forecasting is correct. Now, you can view SIFT as a dashboard on screen, you can interact with these reports, and you can also combine all of these reports into a unified report pack at the top left-hand side of the screen. These report packs can be pushed to PDF, 
Excel or Word, but our personal favorite is something called Live View. Live View is a collaborative, interactive, and hosted URL that you can share with various stakeholders that allows you to speak about the entity's performance for that period in one unified URL. The data can roll over from period to period, comments down the right hand side, navigation down the left, and if you hover over certain numbers, you'll actually get the underlying transaction level detail that makes up that specific number. Back over to SIFT. I'd encourage you to try SIFT Assist AI. It's embedded at the top right hand side of the screen and it will give you summaries of the visuals and tables that you're seeing in every feature. It will also suggest ways to improve and you can use the voice narration to both ask questions or get narration of those summaries in a variety of different languages. Collaborating with your team is easy. Invite additional users under Settings Users. These can be both internal users or external stakeholders. We are here to help, so feel free to book a call in your account manager's calendar by navigating to Settings My Accounts. If you need an absolutely instant response, we have real-time support 24-5 and you can use the chat interface at the bottom right-hand side of the screen. You can also use our Knowledge Center for articles and videos on each feature. And if you'd want to take your SIFT learning to the next level, check out SIFT Campus for certifications and full-length courses on a variety of features and functionality. Spreadsheet Link is the last little bit of features and functionality I'd suggest. And this will allow you to interface with both Google Sheets and Excel to push and pull data in and out of SIFT Analytics. Over to pricing and there's plans to choose for every business from per entity through to unlimited as well as a suite of add-ons. Chat to our team and we'll help you choose which plan is right for your business. Thanks for watching.